Uh oh. <laughs> to you guys. Alright, 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 what, what do you want, what do you want, what do you want, what do you want? Zoom out, zoom out, please, please, please. Um. It's really hot in this room, I don't know what to do with that. Can you stop zooming in? So... Damn it. So... I know I haven't uploaded in a while. And it's for the dumbest, most obvious reason. I just didn't have any ideas. That's literally it. However, some things have changed, so I think I want to show you guys what I have been working on while well, I haven't been working on all of that, all of the stuff that you're watching right now. So I think I'm just going to slide on over there. See the fancy uh, cut where it just kind of fades, like it'd be like, <laughs> Yeah, this was essentially what I was talking about. Um, guys, remember, you might remember that video a couple months ago I made about this place, except it has changed considerably uh, since then. So, I, it's mostly recognizable, but at the same time, what the hell? What is this? So, I thought it would be nice to kind of show you guys how it's changed, because... It's done nothing but that. So, from what I remember, there were about 50-something pages here the last time you guys saw it. Now there's 99. So I thought that would kind of be a bit interesting to see. Because there's so much new stuff that I've put on here. And... Yeah, we're just going to get into it. First of all, major updates here. We've got some high-res versions of the skins. And just a lot of stuff. Skin updates. There's been the Origin server that's kind of happened in between now and then. So, you have a lot there. We even have some situations where we're trying to figure out, like, lore and stuff, and the whole rewrite. So that was pretty interesting. And like I said last time, one of one of the all-time greatest pages is mine, because it, since I'm basically, like, the only person who ever works on this fucking website, I was thinking, you know what, I know me, so I'm gonna write about me. And a lot's been added. A lot has been taken away. Uh, in between now and then, I got me, me a cool drawing. Courtesy of Hukara. Thank you very much. But also, there's just been so much. Just, yes. It's the etymology area. A few more quotes. Notes has been changed to notes and trivia. Um, I've also added tabbers so that you can kind of have more detail put into each section. So like here, I moved my entire history area to my history tab, which in itself is 
pretty insane. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's for me. I also have items and pets and, and whatnot. Some special items to me and pets and whatnot. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what else to say, but there's that. And one thing I have started to expand upon a little bit more is the social media for certain people. Like, if I have the social medias, then I'll just put it on here. Uh, for example, uh, Trojan Exodus Troy recently updated his socials on Twitch, so I thought it'd be nice to actually give him his own social media section. Speaking of which, I have all these new navigation tabs. So instead of just the the updated, like the uh, recent changes and help and whatnot, yeah, the dimensions, like the worlds and their characters, and even even lore characters. That's another thing, the extra lore. I have all these stories that I'm working on. Some of them. I haven't even started, but I do have plans for a lot of them. It's good stuff. So, and here's another thing. The lore of the worlds, it also has tabbers on here. Just to kind of make things a little more connected. And I like that because it makes me seem smart. But so far, the story with the most promise possibly would have to be a long walk to Reno. This one, it doesn't look like it right here, but the the plot's pretty good. Um, I think I could even pull up the first chapter uh, if we want to. It even has the characters in it. Like, that's always a good thing. I invented this character who is the father of some of the actual one of the people we have here in the group and somehow i just wrote all of that which also reminds me of another thing i was updating a few pages that needed updating because otherwise they looked kind of bad so another thing i did was if i can pull it up if we scroll down here Massive, massive updates to Bloody Saturday. Now, this page was pretty decently written the last time that I showed you guys the site. Excuse me. Alright. Um, but now, from what I've seen in the Long Pages database, is actually either the third... Or the fourth largest page behind the timeline, uh, my page and my history page. Which is very impressive, despite the fact that... You know what? No, it's just very impressive, because most of this is written from memory. And every time I look at this stuff, I just keep hearing pig step in my head, because that was on loop the entire time, and it was so cool, but it was also, like, really tragic. Which also reminds me, because the timeline is a little bit confusing, but it's very cool. It's got a lot of actual history of the universe sort of stuff, and it's got some <laughs> that happened in real life that we can't explain. For example... The fact that the oldest star in the universe is older than the universe. So we thought, well, I'll explain later. Um, so here is basically just history and all that. And here's some, some other stuff. Just like lore history from like Lord of Nikthof and village called Kebel, the rest of the stuff in between is like sort of 
part of Kebble history, which is sort of like um, a brochure, or just a history book. And then there's what I thought I knew, which I'm not entirely sure what it's about, but it's going to take place during the Civil War. And then the events of the Long Walk to Reno in 1890, uh, and Captain Noah Fomer, he, he's, the, he's the child in this story. And then you have my canonical parents, and you have basically when everyone is born, including me, and got some stuff that I'm still kind of working on. It's, I'm not entirely sure where it's going to go. Because some of this information might not even be accurate. There's still some more research I have to do. But also, and this is where we kind of get into the good stuff. Like, where I come in. That sounds really egotistical, but I'm sorry. That's just kind of true. And now, like, things are measured by days, like, each day something happens and which is why the Castlestead era section of the timeline as you see here goes all the way to September 30th that was finished but the Freewood era uh, so far has not been finished so I just immediately skipped to the skirmish era so I could get that sort of written down to a point so I can link uh, Bloody Saturday to it because I needed to, because if you look over, if we revert back to the Play Saturday page, it has this link to the Skirmish Era, which in itself is the Skirmish Era section of the timeline. So it kind of gets you there faster. And, I mean, that's basically that for the timeline. Uh... Like, that bar right here, look at that, that's very small. Like, it, it doesn't look small, but for this site, for this wiki, that is very small. And then you have factions, like the current ones and the old ones. And then here you have uh, Fort Machomos, which is a recent development. One that I created about, we can say two weeks ago. Uh, this was after Simply Vanilla got its reset on July 4th, and I called, we had a lot of debates about what to name it, uh, and then Carnadex uh, settled on uh, Machomos, which is like giant ants and stuff. Uh, and here I have like a little link to the base, which is a fort, it's like, it's a Spanish star fort kind of inspired off of Castillo de San Marcos uh, in St. Augustine. Another thing I kind of forgot to mention was I added little sections where you can switch between like drawings and, and origins on your characters. This took me forever. This took me so many months and I finally figured it out. Uh, for the source. And here, I think my origin looks pretty cool. All bones and a rib cage and whatnot. And I also, another interesting thing is when Hukar made the drawing of me, my skin looked pretty different from that. You can see it right here. So what I did was I changed it up to look like the way she drew it. And I kind of, I think it looks better here than it did there. We can go to the dimensions now. Now, the overworld I created last night because I didn't exactly have one for it, and now I kind of needed one for it uh, to make sure that navigation wasn't entirely screwed up. Um, but it's not the most developed. Um, I think the most developed is either the nether or the end. The nether is this, 
which is kinda okay. It's fine. Uh, the end looks like this, which is a little more written out, but the afterlife has, like, current status for uh, people who have died and lived there. And that's another thing. I have nav boxes and warnings for all that. Here is a notice because... Well, it's a notice because my character is in a limbo state, and that means I'm both dead and alive, which hardly makes any sense, but, you know. Also brings us to some of the lower characters. Um, right now, Revenisator, for some reason, she just has, like, a really developed history section and personality section. It's kind of why if we go here into special pages and then we find long pages, her page is sixth place, which is kind of surprising. And then I realized that my page actually got like a sort of a big expansion. So if I put the history section back into my page, it would be the largest one by about 2,000 bytes, which I don't know if that's overkill or if that's like me just doing research and whatnot. And then we have Sylvie, which is another crazy like thing. And the surname, that reminds me. So we have... What is it? Hold on. My brain's malfunctioning. We have the families. We have, like, like family pages uh, here. Which is sort of a neat thing. I kind of got that from the Harry Potter wiki, but I kind of expanded upon it. Uh, somewhat. I have genealogy, basically says, like, what the surname was to a point. And it's also the coat of arms. You have members of the tree. It doesn't really show up well if I'm already zoomed out. So you have uh, Millie Herico, which is the protagonist and the main voice in a village called Kebble. And we also have, like, a later parts of the tree where you have me and stuff. And then you have the coat of arms, which right now I'm trying to work on what it means. It means something, but not entirely sure. Then you have, like, the history of the whole thing. Sort of nice affiliations, members of the family, like, like the affiliation with other families, so far I only have the Eisenhower family, and the House of the Parlay, it kind of saves me space, so I don't have to create pages with like tons of detail, because there are a lot of members of Parlay. So what I'm thinking is, I'm just going to have little parts of that page with their family on it that just briefly talks about it. The Can Dragon family, I think that could be interesting. As long as the, the Keys, Oivy, Hukara, Fomer, and Sheriff Pope families, but the Eisenhower family so far is the only one that just has anything apart from the Herschel family. And I mean another thing I started working on was covers for these stories, because right now, they actually exist on uh, Wattpad, which is kind of, you know, like, uh, using Wattpad, that's like fanfic stuff. But no, I use it because it's just easy to use and easy to get your stories out there, and right now I just don't have anywhere else to put them. But it's worked out for me. Uh, maybe one of these days I can 
read out the complete stories to you, maybe even in an audiobook, like, like, whoa, guys, that could be so crazy. Audiobooks? No. Um. I mean, that's essentially it. That's essentially what I have going for me. Uh, let me qu quickly check something. Yeah. So that's what I got. And... I mean, if you enjoyed, maybe this channel is now updating you on the wiki channel and not really bad gameplay. So, I mean, with, with that being said, I, I'm glad you, uh, glad you guys enjoyed it because... I don't know where to go with this channel, and I don't want to stop uploading, because... Here's the thing. I've stopped uploading. I haven't uploaded in like a year and a half, and yet... I've gotten 105 views in the last 30 days. I don't understand that. I don't understand why you guys are still interested. My content isn't original, except maybe these videos. These videos might be a little bit original, but... I don't know. I'm kind of curious. What do you guys think? Why Why do you watch me? Why do you watch me? Why do you watch me, guys? Please answer the goddamn question. Why do you watch me? Why do you watch me? Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> guys, I'm sorry! Um, yeah. That's basically it. Why are you still here? Why are you still here? Why are you still watching this video? I told you to leave. I think leaning back just makes this look bad. Ah! Forgot about how malfunctiony this thing can get. That's another thing. I've been working on music. Music, guys. Music, uh, dropping never. Bye. Get out of here.